Alrighty, so the website that I use, uh, let's go back here, we'll just go ahead and stop and blow that away here, is Canva, so C-A-N-V-A dot com. So you'll have to sign in with your Gmail account or make an, uh, make an account with them. Uh, it's photo editing, you can do flyers, you, it's kind of like a graphic design uh, app, or you can use the website. Um, I like it a lot. I do a lot of stuff with it, but what we're going to do is once you get all signed in, we're going to go over here to custom size because it has to be an 800 by 480 picture, uh, as far as the size. So it's going to give you a blank screen and you can design on this screen how you see fit. So what we'll do is I'm going to go to some upload, fit, uh, um, photos that I have. Let's see here. We'll do this one. We'll do a big background here and we're just going to drag it, make it look big and have something in the background there. And then what we'll do is we'll scroll down a little bit here and there we go. Oh, too many times. So one, so what we'll do here is big adjustable hammer racing logo there and if you find us on facebook we can do fuel injector clean fuel injector cleaning and services and uh, also a a authorized force performance turbo seller just for shits and giggles let's throw a force performance logo in there over here on the side bam all right, so after you get your screen your screen background, uh, if you want to put a little logo in there, don't put a very big logo like this. Um, if you do, you can shrink it down to whatever size because your boxes are going to eat up a lot of room. So what you do is you'll come over to your elements over here on the left-hand side, and you you got lines and shapes. You can, you can click all. You can go down through them. Got all kinds of different shapes that you can have. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a rounded edge uh, square. It can turn into a rectangle when you put it on the screen. So you can grab the corners of this thing. You can drag it out and keep it a square size. Or you can drag the sides out, make long boxes out of it. And then we'll just grab this box. We'll throw it over here on that side. So once you have the box there, you can come up here to your three little dots. Click on it. You got transparency. So we can actually turn that box to where you can see through that box a little bit. But it still gives you kind of a shadow area there. And that's what I like to do. So uh, let's take it down on the bottom. We'll put it right down here on the bottom. The great thing I like about Canva, so we'll just copy this and paste another one, is when you're going to line everything up, I don't know if y'all can see how the purple lines keep popping up on the screen when I'm moving around. But when you use this, it'll help you line everything up. So it's telling me that I'm centered now with this block over here. And now I've also got the same spacing here that I have on that side. And what I like to do when I first initial lay out the screen, so you'll have to come back and take these lines off and resave the photo. But I like to go and put a line in there. Let's see, we'll put a line right here and it tells me I'm directly in the middle. We'll pull it out to the sides and we'll have it there. And what that'll do is when you're actually putting the, um, we'll just do a little, uh, little mock up here. So we're just going to put 13.4 or 13.5. Let's change the color of this so that everybody can see it. We're going to go white. Okay. So we'll pull it over here. So what it's going to start out on is this is going to be up in the corner uh, when you go to your custom layout. And you'll be able to put your finger on it, touch it, hold it, and drag it. But for this setup, we're going to do it this way. So what the line is great for is when you do this, you can actually line it up on the line on the dash. So that when you do this number, we'll just copy and paste that number over here. 
So when you take this number and say you're doing it over in this box for, for another setting, everything will be straight across the board there. So what we'll do here is we'll go back over to text, we'll add a subtext, and we're gonna put, we're just gonna put oil pressure. So we'll grab that, and then what we'll do is we'll put oil pressure up here in the top. So I'm gonna get rid of these real quick, the 13.5s, just because that's actually gonna be on the screen. Um, you're gonna do that on the digital dash when you place it. Um, and then we'll do another one. Let's add another subtext. We're gonna say boost. So then we'll grab that. We'll center it up in here in the box. And then you can also adjust the font, uh, the font and the font size. So you can do different style fonts. So you can, if you want this really big, you can grab it as big, but center it up in the top of your boxes there and just allows you to have what the what the actual reading is going to be it'll tell you what it is so and like i said this is just a temporary um this is a temporary i've got one already set up that's in the dash and it does take a little bit of time so i'm not going to really blow my dash away um to do all the settings but we'll give you a quick run through so what we're going to do is we're going to after we get everything set up all the boxes the way we want it everything labeled out what we'll do with all of our lines here so we'll come up here to the right hand corner we'll hit share we'll hit download and then what we want when we download it we do not want it as a png we want it as a jpeg the dash does not like pngs um, it also doesn't like if you have multiple jpegs on the sd card it kind of freaks it out because it only likes the one name uh, which is called background and I'll show you that so with Canva you'll have to download so we'll hit download there it's gonna run its little magic and then it's gonna download to a temporary file right here so we're just gonna double click on the temporary file we're gonna pull it up we have this awesome little background that we've created so what we're gonna do here um, you can go in if you need to go use the photo editor to lighten or darken the screen um, of if you put it then I learned that when you put it in the dash if you put a certain color on it it's going to be a lighter color so um, I would definitely go in um, and I would adjust your darkness and I would darken it up just a little bit even though that looks like that's very dark when it's on the screen it's going to be lighter uh, it's actually going to be more like this when it's on the, the dash even when you set it as this so what we'll do is we'll go save a copy and we're going to go to our SD card, which I have mine on D drive. And we want to name this in all uppercase letters, background. And then hit save. So now, just to double check and make sure that we have everything. We're going to pull the SD card out. Stick it back in. Click on it just to make sure it's there. Boom, background. But make sure you label that picture background in all uppercase letters. I did it in lowercase letters, um, and it kept giving me weird readings. Um, so you'll just make sure you do it all in uppercase letters, um, and it is background exactly. So we'll close that out, and then we'll go to the dash. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and turn the dash on and we've got the, let me pull back here just a little bit. So I went ahead, right up here in the top is where the SD card is, we went ahead and put it in. Um, after a few times of messing around with it, it was backwards from what I would normally put an SD card in. Um, the actual back side of the SD card faces you when it was put in. It may just be this one was twisted one way or the other, that may be a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll go to settings. We're gonna go to layout. Number five is our custom dash. Uh, so if you saved uh, the picture as a JPEG, 
with the name da I'm sorry, with the name background in all capital letters, when you hit save, it's going to pop up. Like I said, this one's a little different uh, looking than the um, than what we were originally working with, but uh, it's something that I've already had installed on the car, and I spent a good bit of time uh, doing it. So it's uh, something I definitely didn't want to completely blow away and go back to it. So how you set this up, how you set all your uh, individual readings to be exactly where um, they're supposed to be as you go to settings. Well, my fingers will work. And then you're going to hit to the right and you're going to go to layout designer. So these are all your layouts. Um, and here's some of your switches and some of your inputs and outputs. Um, so if it's checked, which means it has the little black dot inside the white box, it means that it will pop up on the screen. So what you'll do to place it is you're going to actually push the button. So we pushed RPM. So now RPM shows up here. Originally, this is going to show up here in the very, very, very top left corner. Um, it's not going to be where I placed it. So you're going to have here you can actually change the color of it. So there's blue. We're going to go back to white just because that's what I've used here. And then to the left is your font. So what I did learn is as you go bigger in numbers, it is smaller font. You go smaller in numbers, it is bigger font. So we were on a three there. And you can touch this, hold it, and you can drag this wherever you want. So if I wanted to put this in a boost... I could drop it over here and boost. But since I know it's RPM, I'm going to put it back over here in RPM. And this is where I was showing you to put the lines across. So when I originally set this up, I had one line going across here. I had one line going across here. And then I had one line going across here straight through the middle. So I knew that all of my readings are going to line up in the same way. So that would give you a really good... A really good uh, reference so that you can center it and you're always going to get the 12.3 um, on the dash when you're setting everything up and what was nice about that line is when you had that line dead in the center of the three you knew it was going to be completely even with this number here um, the only trick is getting it left or right uh, getting it lined up so what I'm going to do and then also you have arrows here so the down arrow of course will move that that number down, the up arrow, move it up. And so the right arrow, let's see here. I'm going to move it a few times, get it back to where it kind of looks like it's lined up. I'm sure I'm going to have to play with this a little bit after I look at the dash. So once you do that, down on the bottom, you're going to have one button that says reset, one button that says set. So when you get it set to where you want it, I know that was the RPM reading that I was trying to lay out. I've got it set in the RPM box where I want it. I'm going to push set. And then it sets it. And then you can do the same thing with map. I have map over here. We're going to go ahead and hit set. And then once you set everything and you've checked the boxes of the ones you want on the screen, um, you hit save. That's going to save your layout. And then you'll hit save again, saves everything to the screen. And then we have this beautiful custom laid out screen here. But yep, yeah, so that's the Tinker Dash. Uh, that is the custom screen layout. Uh, I didn't cover everything. There were a few things that I beat my head against the wall, more so on the uh, background design. Um, I screwed up a few things. It was something that I fat fingered. Um, but I had to run back a few times and that's where I learned about putting the lines in the Canva app straight across, uh, my bubbles there, uh, so that I can get everything lined up because when I came in, I set everything up. This one was just a little higher than that one was lower and that one was higher and this one was higher and that one was lower. And when I was looking at it, it was driving me nuts. Um, 
So I had to go back in and start drawing some lines. So you didn't get the whole process I went through, but you get the point and it'll give you a, a starting point to get the custom dash layout. And this will allow you to put uh, the settings on the screen that you want. You can put a logo in the background of it. Um, put custom backgrounds, but just make sure that the background is an 800 by 480 background. Uh, if you go bigger, um, the center of your background sometimes may be up here, it may be down there, maybe over to the side, depending on how it pulls the file. I learned that the hard way and had to go back, read the instructions, uh, and that's the best thing. Pull the instructions, print them out, have them right here in the seat beside you, because uh, it definitely helps when you're trying to go through and see everything you'll have the instructions there so killing trees printing instructions making custom dashes but yep so that's what we've got and uh doing uh custom headliners too and race cars street cars sorry street car it's not a race car all right we'll talk to you later bye